Now, hello. Hi. Um, it looks totally funny. I mean, can you explain why, why freezing? What's the, what's the meaning of that? Uh, it's a good question. I think it's because when we first did it, it was the pilot, which yeah. we did a year ago. It's about people who are stuck in their lives. So right. the people opposite of hot. Middle age. If you say somebody, oh, he's really hot at the moment, it's kind of. I suppose it, it, the, it's the frozen. It's frozen, as in going. No, no I don't no know how way. to make my life. And she and and, and the, the Elizabeth McGovern, who um, is is the woman in that, yeah. is your client. Yeah. She, she's actually she is her, she's, she's playing, playing herself. She's playing Elizabeth exactly like like Seinfeld in Seinfeld. Right, because she she it was and is I mean a famous American actress. Yeah. She was discovered by Robert Redford or. Uh, I think she yes, was, right, she yeah. discovered she was got Oscar nominated for her yeah. first job with Robert De Niro in was, the, was that in Once Upon a Time in America? America? Yeah, she played that angelic yeah. woman that he he develops a sexual she, obsession with. Yeah, I've never seen it. No, but, yeah, <laughs> yeah. but yeah, <laughs> she's brilliant. She's brilliant at all those things. She's absolutely marvelous. So no, how does she feel I, about I, playing a, 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 a character who's down on a well? Lockdown? I think strangely, uh, I've talked to her about it. She doesn't. It's you still feel like you're playing somebody else. Yeah. Uh, even yeah. though you know you're playing. Yeah. It's also directed by um, her real-life husband, the show. Oh, right. right. Uh, so her, but her on-screen husband there, Hugh Bonville, he is playing... Uh, the, hus the husband in, on, on, in the screen version is, is, is a not publisher. a real... Yeah, no, it's he's not a publisher. So he's not real. She's real, OK. And yeah. he's, lost, he, he's lost his job too. So they're both kind they're of... They're both in a difficult period in their lives. And she's not playing Elizabeth McGovern. She's just playing something called... I understand. Called. So... so um, Yes, it's a kind of, it's a, you know, they're, they're all in a, a difficult time in their lives. Okay, and then well, this unbearable agent comes to live with them. Well, let's, let's, let's see you being a bit more unbearable. Um, actually, you remind me of, 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 of an assistant editor that I once had to work for. He was an utter, I can't say the word, can I? But he was a pain in the neck, a real pain in the neck. And you're, you're very like him, actually. Thanks. Um, yeah, you are. The, just, the, you're no, like you a mean tat. the character is? No, well, obviously, the character. No. I mean, yeah. Just, just see a bit, and then we'll explain more. Keep back in sale for you. Becky, say, oh, you rascal, how are you? <laughs> you are not only my most talented client, you are also the funniest. <laughs> Anthony Head is doing a new Mammoth at the Don Mar. Mammoth's written a new one and it's actually got a woman in it. How's your American action? No, I'm joking. I know it's aged. It's a cool, super sexy role. Only you could do it. OK. Stay out of the sun, honeybee. Leon Blakely. If you're the man threatening to kill him, please come in. 